What's up? Welcome back to the Yasha Sub Vlogs and Gaming channel. I've missed you guys today. This truck is uh, very dirty. Anyway, today we are going to be going over the humongous update in Greenville. So let's just get right into it. They added 33 new cars, 100 plus trims. So we're just going to check this out here. So, first off, we have the 1972 Falcon Pony. All right, here it is. It is a classic. You can see Falcon. Very slow car, but very nice uh, Jeep classic. We want to show off with your glasses. It's actually a pretty good car. All right, next car. All right, next we have a 2001 Falcon from Aquas. All right, so you could get it in Troopers. You had State Trooper. You could patrol on the highway. You could do it unmarked. You could do a, a what? So you could basically do a police taxi. Well, I actually kind of want to see it in real life. It looks cool. So it doesn't matter what color you get it in. Actually, it looks pretty cool. I, I actually want to see it. All right, well, here it is. It says this ride about $20. Why does it say that? That just makes no sense. What is that thing? What? Alrighty. <clears throat> Next up, we have the 2003 Chrysler FT Convertible. <sighs> I don't even know if they made a convertible, but we'll see. Only 7,000 for the base? Let's go. Also, the Chrysler is the most, uh, one of the most cheapest cars in the game. So, also, it was an update. I was thinking about going over this a little bit later. You guys could see the light inside, but we're going to go over that later. Hello, Ford. Get to that a little later. Of course, we just started the video. And if this video is a little bit longer, uh, it's because, you know, they added 33 new cars and, like, so much other stuff. So, yeah, basically it's so bully. I mean, if you put this in split mode, it's pretty fun, to be honest. Not anything special, of course, but you do get that convertible, which actually looks, I, it actually looks pretty nice. I like it. Ugh. Actually, if you turn with this thing, it feels pretty good. Why, everyone? <laughs> Alright, next up we have the 2003 uh, Chrysler FT Stroller GT Turbo Limited Turbo Touring GT Turbo S. Jeez, eleven thousand dollars. Let's see what it looks like. Also, it's like also you could just get it <laughs> like that. Alright, so what if I wanted to get that? So it has to have like a detail on top. Right, so it's a three door it said it said it was a three door so let's see how it is alrighty so we got this got it here so where's the third door wait is it on this side i have no clue what the Ow. Let a I want to bump into this. Oh, nope. <laughs> I want to bump into that Lambo. Let that squeak happen. So, if you want to. Are you. If you. So, whenever it shifts gears, it plays that squeaking sound 130 is the max speed of this eleven thousand dollar car that's actually pretty good that's uh, the max speed of the tesla which is thirty five thousand dollars so pretty good hello oh, 
that uh, that breaking is actually pretty good. Hello, officer. Good to see ya. Alrighty, next guy. Alrighty, next up, <clears throat> we have the 2003. Alright, so this is oh, oh she got a beat. Oh, alrighty. So this is the same price as the cheapest car in the game. Oh, there we go. Yeah, beater. I would get the uh oh. <laughs> Good one, good one. All right, I will get the torn to be honest. It looks nice. Alrighty, it's just a five door Chrysler. It's nothing special. You got this one, which is a van. Okay, <laughs> a GT van. What in the world? Alrighty. Um, should I get it? Nah. Okay, you guys can look at yourself. I think it's just a waste of money. Super. Sumo Ota. Wait, so if I. Ota. <clears throat> oh, so it's the Super Legacy. Alrighty. So you got the special edition. I actually want to see what this. What? $5,000? Jeez. You get a really big discount. Alrighty. 2006 Sumo. Is that like Subaru's like old startup time? That Lambo was gone. Yay. Hey. We're getting it. We're getting closer. Jeez, that took a while. At least this thing doesn't squeak. Whoa, chill, bruh. Alrighty, next car we have. I am going to the wrong way. We do have do, 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 the Sumo Ota Wagon. Just the wagon version of it. I already tested it. Let's get this on. Ugh. Uh. Where did all the new cars go? Alrighty, sorry about that. Next, we have the 2006 Sumo Rockies. What in the world is this? Okay. I'll get the 2.5 base here. Alrighty. Oh! Bro, go! Go! Alright, let's go! Go, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it is different whether I have to switch to a new server since I accidentally, you know. <laughs> Messed it up, so yeah. It's gonna take a while to go through 33 or 30 whatever new cars, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Ah, <laughs> uh, at least we stopped at it. Alrighty. This thing is not the fastest, but it's still, you know, a good car in a way. Alrighty, next car. Alrighty, next up we have the 2007 Century Gemini. Uh, <laughs> what in the world? I have no idea what this car is. Uh. Um, but it's eighteen thousand dollars for the base. Uh, pretty sure it's gonna depreciate very badly, but yeah. Let's test this thing out, shall we? I heard that startup time before. Is the so the headlights replace the daytime running lights? I see. Alrighty, and speaking of that, we need to turn on our 
Why is there like an empty? <laughs> Do we? Oh yes, the base gym. I forgot. Yeah. Pretty good family commuter if you're into this stuff. Also, if you guys didn't already notice, they added those cable lines so we could get internet here. Which is actually pretty good. Since we live in Greenville and we need internet. They were there before, but I was... about that a b system in a little bit but for now <clears throat> let's continue with the next car lol all righty next up we have the 2012 shovel and camion oh uh, this is a 2012 version 13 grand yeah so if you want like a three row chevy tahoe and you don't care about the year and you just want a cheap one I don't know, this might be the perfect one for you. Alrighty, so here it is. Wait. Wait. Alrighty. Wait, so. What? Okay. I don't think this thing has three rows. I don't know, I might be wrong. The exhaust comes out from this side. You know what? It's actually a pretty good car. Considering its age, I really like the black back design of these Tahoes. But I'm not too big on though. <clears throat> but yeah, pretty good. Not the fastest thing out there, but if you're carrying family, you don't really need a fast thing. You just want something that could pick up and go and not be like too slow, but it's just right. Alrighty, well, it's gonna be the next car. Wait, this is not the next car. Wait, alright, on to the next car. Alright, next car we have all of these Chevron Camions. I am not going to go in depth with them because that would just be a waste of money. Right now we have the 2013 Chevron Pinna Century Pinnacle. I don't know what's different about this car. Um, I think they changed it to luxury pass. That's all that's different. Uh, I, of course I can't afford it, so I can't really tell you guys what the difference is, but here we got the 2013 Chevron Plot Toro. Oh, it's a truck. 14 grand, watch this out. Alrighty, here it is. Oh, this is slow. Sorry about that weird screen glitch. It already always happens. Oh, you have to drive this thing in sport mode. This thing is so slow. When you try to accelerate, this thing is the slowest thing ever. Oh. Alright, we're getting there. Oh, shoot. At least the braking is seriously good. Whoa. So it's the acceleration, which is not that good, but braking is pretty good. Alrighty. Next car, I guess. Alright, next up we have 2013 Falcon Scavenger. They already have enough Explorers, so I don't know why they need a 2013 model. But they apparently wanted... I'll get the XLT all-wheel drive if I had to. No, I'll... Wait, XLT all-wheel drive. Oh, I'll get the regular XLT because, man... Yeah. I'm not too big on all-wheel drive. It is gonna be. It is good though to have all-wheel drive because in the snow. I remember when Greenville had that snow update. Yeah, all-wheel drive was needed. Alrighty, here it is. Back looks kind of the same as the 20. Ay ay ay. Wait. So how do you? Uh, Oh uh, yeah, someone's coming after me. 
I don't care to be honest. It looks like this thing has halogen headlights. Because as you could see by the projection, it looks uh, like it's a halogen. But it looks like it's an LED, so... I don't know, oh my god, look how dirty that... Look how dirty that Corvette was. Jeez. wonder how they got it that dirty. Headlights don't look the same as the 2019 model, though. That's, that's, that, 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 that yeah. <laughs> this is the XLT version? Yeah, XLT version. Pretty uh, good 2013 Ford Explorer. If you guys don't want to pay the price of $54,000, and, and this one is actually just maybe 18000 I have no clue. It's a pretty good deal if you want a Ford Explorer, but just don't want to spend $54,000. Pretty good. Alrighty, next card. Alrighty, next up we have all those police cars, of course, for the first, our police cars, 34,000 for these, jeez, alrighty, next we have the 2015 N3XT, we have sport, what, your magma orange, alrighty. Look at the startup, that, <clears throat> That was weird. What are you doing, Graph Four person? <laughs> Not the fastest thing out there. I did get the base trim level, so I don't expect it to be fast in any way. So, yeah. Next guy. Alrighty. Next up, we have the uh, 2016 Summer Trail Star. This is the Super Cross Track. Um, they already have a 2020 one, so I don't know why they need a 2016 one. Probably because of the price. But the thing is, the sumo is the uh, 2020 uh, is only $28,000. So, base $15,000. Not big of a loss, to be honest. Just $15,000. Alrighty, here it is. Not this. This. I definitely realize it is slow. I can't even take this time here if I really put my foot on the gas pedal and turn the wheel and I could time it. <clears throat> From what I could tell, this thing maybe has reflected LED headlights. Not that bright as full LED headlights, so my head is reflectors. What I think. Uh, halogen turn signals, um, or incandescent turn, turn signals, as well as in the back. So, the voice are right here, in case you guys are wondering. And yeah, uh, not that of an exciting car, just you know, a small, uh, a super crash track, just the older model, and yeah. Next car. That sounds so futuristic. Alrighty, next up we have the 2017 Century Hawk. Like I said with the Century Pinnacle, I'm not gonna be testing this because I think it's the same thing, of course. I know I can afford it, but you know, I feel like it's the same thing as Century Pinnacle. So, I'm sorry guys, uh, but yeah, uh, next card. So we have the 2017 Chevron Captain. We do have these models, 45 grand, jeez. All right, I'm gonna get the Royale. Jeez, that's a lot of money. Alrighty, guys. What? That's a Mustang starter. Wait. This is literally a Mustang. This is seriously a Mustang. It sounds like a Mustang. It feels like a Mustang. This sedan is crazy. I would definitely recommend it if you want a sporty sedan. Jeez. I got the Royale version. Jeez. 
Alrighty, next up we have all of these. Of course, I'm not going to test it. Alrighty, so we have the 2020 Illusion Alliance. This is the Honda Accord. And plus the uh, current Subaru Crosstrek, not the old model. So, just going to test it out here. Alrighty, here it is. Uh, Honda Accord. Oh, well, that's the AEB system. At least we know that works. Hello, Z Proto. Yeah, look at you. Your best card. Hope you get hit. No, I'm just kidding. No, I love Z Protos. Anyway. Ugh. Dude, you are about to go in front of me. Alrighty, next card, everyone. Not to insult this. Oh, or could anything, but it's a pretty good car. All right, next guy. Alrighty, next up we have the 2020 Mazuku Kazuku. <laughs> so we do have the Sport Front Wheel Drive Carbon Extension Turbo Front Wheel Drive of the Sport. Pro All right, so that's it. So I only have the Carbon Edition Turbo. I actually want to test out the Carbon Edition Turbo, but what color? Eh, that looks good. Let's test it out. Alrighty, everyone, here it is. Jeez, I've always liked Mazdas. Always, always liked Mazdas. And I, I was begging for Greenville to add a CX-5 Carbon Edition. Look what they added here. Does it bump into... There we go. That's fun. Hello, cop. Jeez, this thing is fast. I just switch lanes like that, switch lanes like that, switch lanes like that, switch lanes like that. I, I'm thinking of keeping this. You know what, I am keeping this. I love Mazdas and I've always wanted them to release this. So I'm keeping this everyone. And, yeah, it's going to be a new car of mine. Yay! Alrighty, next up we do have the 2022 Chevron E-Current X. I think this is the Chevy Bolt, if I recall. Uh, Ice Blue, what's this about? I well, here it is. I actually love the styling on this. The back I love. And the styling looks actually pretty aggressive. It is an EV. It doesn't make any sound. Brake lights are that. The top speed is, it says it's like 90 miles an hour. And I paid $45,000 for this. So, uh, it's kind of a waste of money to be honest. <laughs> that was uh weird uh why is it mercedes benz blocking the road i have no clue Alrighty, so the top speed of this one 95 96 i at least a hundred would be nice 96 miles an hour and I paid $45,000 for this. That's a waste of money. <laughs> if you guys do want a cool car, you guys could get this. Speed, not that good. Uh, it topped out at 96 miles an hour and you pay $46,000 for this. Come on, you could get a faster Tesla. Well, for only $35,000. Alrighty, next guy. Alrighty, next up we have the 2022 Direct DTS, the Polar Star Volvo's Electric Company. Uh, actually, it looks pretty cool. Performance plus, it's all spelled out in caps. Midnight. Hmm. Moon. Void. Snow. Thunder. Let's test it out on Thunder. Alrighty, here it is. Uh... 
That's a Volvo chime. Look at the back. Look how cool the back looks and look how cool the front looks. Look at those wheels. You see those yellow brakes? Gee. I paid 66000 for this. Oh, this thing is fast. 60 already? This thing is so fast. This is like Tesla territory. Jeez. On 30, on 31, 131 is at max speed. Wasn't the best speed, but the acceleration. Jeez. Alrighty. Let's just do this real quick. Alrighty, next car. Alrighty, next up we have the 2022 Elijah Metro. 52,000. Charge yellow. It looks like this thing is electric because it requires the electric pass. Let's test it out. Alrighty, here it is. It's supposed to be a Honda. What in the world is this? It only goes up to 90. I paid like $50,000 for this. So. Yeah. Like that Chevy Bolt. Oi. It's starting to become daytime. You can see the sun right there. You can also see the moon right there. Sun and the moon meet together. Yay. Right. I actually love the design though. Like, no matter how much the speed, I actually love this design. Not saying I'll keep it, but maybe in the future I'll think, I'll think aside me and I'll say, hmm, I'll keep it, probably. But right now, you know, I'm just testing cars. Uh, <laughs> I'm just testing cars. I did, I did keep the Mazda just because I love Mazdas and I will always will. And I will always, and I always will. There we go. That's the right thing. I it's daytime. Yay, so I could turn off my headlights. And next guy. I next up we have the 2022 Navarre Star. So this is the Nissan Z Proto. I I actually love the type ST. I wanna get the most expensive one, which is type ST. I'm actually really I'm really scared to see what Nissan does. Is Sunshine Yellow Polo looks actually pretty good. Alright. <sighs> Let's test this thing out. Alrighty, here it is. I actually love this car. That is a GTI startup charm. Seriously had to reuse it. Look at the exhaust. This thing looks so sick. Look at the front. I love this car. Some people may disagree with me in the comments, but no matter if you disagree or agree with me, in my opinion, this thing looks really sick. This is a GTI, just a cheaper version. This thing it tops out at like 159, which is pretty good. I uh, bought this thing for like 50 grand. So the electric cars, uh, this is actually faster than them. But this is, I, I saw a spit out of fire. Oh. Can this thing do drifts? Can this thing do drifts? I wonder if it can. Yes, it can. Donuts. And by the way, yeah, this is the right way to do it. That, that is so sick. Look at how big my donut was. I want. No matter what. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of keeping this car, to be honest. It, just because it does donuts. And just because I love Nissans too, especially this car. I well, mm, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. So let's go, everyone. I right, next car. Alrighty, next up we have the 2022 Rever Rever EV. <laughs> Is it the electric Hummer? What? Yeah. 
Alright, let's test this out. I just bought a hefty price on this, but look at this thing! This looks so sick. Whoa, look at it! Look at it spelled in the front. Dude, this thing is fast! You do not want to mess with this thing. This thing is so fast. Dude, this thing is fast. <gasps> this thing is really fast, guys. Jolts it back into your seat. Does this thing have safety precautions though? Hmm, does it have it? I want to see what it... Ah, uh, that uh... That didn't work. I don't think I'm keeping this because I am not really a truck person. If you guys are, I already got this dealer guy dirty, but... Uh, if you guys want to keep this, I mean, it is actually kind of good, to be honest. Alright, it does. So, if you put your foot... Alright, that, uh, that did nothing. Look how, look how dirty this guy got in because it goes so fast. Alrighty, I think this is the... Ooh, that's a trademark. Jeez. Back wheels turn. What is up with the back wheels turning? Alrighty, is there a next car? Hmm. Alrighty, well, there's no new car, so let me go. Let me show you guys the interior lighting. So, basically, it only works on convertibles since you can see the interior. So, uh, you guys could see that my head went through. But, why am I revving? Look at this, you could see interior lights, you could see the gear lever, you could see an interior, also see the outside lights. This thing actually looks pretty good uh, in nighttime when you guys want to use it in nighttime. Let, let's test out the AEB braking. Um, I'm going to test it out on the, I'm going to test it out on the Nissan Z. Don't run me over. All right, anyways, I'm um, gonna hop in the Z Proto here. Wanna test the automatic braking out. So I have to find a car that is kind of, you know, parked. Like barely anyone parks cars. Like they don't leave their cars like out in the open though, so. Hmm, let's check the, let's check, uh, back here. I only want to show you guys the AEB braking before we go to the DMV, which I know you guys are excited about. All right, we got this car, so I let my fall. That's how it works. But I still hit into the guy since, you know, was going. So, it'll... Basically, it, yeah, so if I let my foot off, I, yeah, it'll activate that. If I try to go, just slow me down. So I can't find a parked car, like anywhere. So I, if I could just do that. It didn't, what? What is this guy doing? Okay. Is this a car? They added Teslas as prep cars now. Okay. That, uh, it's kinda new. All right. <laughs> Alright, as you guys can see that. And you got that. So it just play or jump. So if you're going no matter what speed, it doesn't. It will. 
it doesn't it doesn't turn on if you it will it will beep at you there's different beeps and different cars on not every car works only cars in real life with equipped it uh, so yeah just keep that in mind and I know you guys are excited about this we got the DMV <laughs> I have no idea how, how to get your car dirty, so I'm, I I actually want to show you guys that if you, uh, the one way I got my car dirty is by going over the lake doing, like, overhead drifts, stuff like that. So, they actually added a new path to the road, which is kind of cool. So, you just have to, you can't go on the road now like before, since, you know, you have to and stuff so yeah they relocated the road which is yeah that's pretty good see I already got my car dirty by driving on the grass which uh yeah so it does save dirt on your tires by the way look at my exhaust look at my poor exhaust now to, the only way to fix this is by going to the rapid wash which uh yeah my graphics are not the best right now so sorry for all the black and the trees appearing at the last second yeah but this car can't make it but at least i got my car dirty <laughs> you could also respawn it and there you go it's fun you know doing it but it's also not fun for you guys of course they actually added new things here. So, instead of the cones, they actually added that. So, pretty cool. There's also a new houses update, and as well as so many up the updates in this update, so. Someone got their car. Don't, ow! All right, well, we're coming up on the DMV here. We've got a lot of people here. Should be able to bump into some people. All right, there's no Lexus people driving around, I don't think. There's no Lexus people driving around. So let's see if we could do a quick, there we go. It's different on all cars, Nissans, it's that chime. Pretty sure it works on all Nissan since Nissan has equipped it in their cars before. So, yeah. No one can see like a, please don't do uh All right, reserved parking, yes, we know. What does the sign say? Road test parking only. Okay, so this basically means that here you could get driver's testing. Uh, that would be a cool role play video. We could do that. But, so you guys could see this. It says get ticket. I don't know what to get a ticket for. Uh, we got this person right over here. I have no idea what to get a ticket for, though. But... Got the plate renewal here, so you got the plate design, plate test. So, plate design, you got Alaska, you got Alabama, you got Arkansas, you got Arizona, we got California, we got Colorado, we got Connecticut, we got Washington, D.C., we got Delaware, we got Florida, we do have Georgia, we do have Hawaii, we have Iowa, we have Idaho, we have Illinois, we have Indiana, uh, we do have Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, uh, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi doesn't have any front license plate, so uh, if you don't want a front, front license plate, as well as North Carolina, there's no front license plate. Uh, you got North Dakota, you got Nebraska, or you got Montana, North Carolina, you got North Dakota, you got Nebraska, you got Hampshire, New Hampshire, you got New Jersey, you got New Mexico, you got Nevada, you got New York, you got Ida, 
not Idaho, Ohio, you got Oklahoma, you got Oregon, you got Pennsylvania, you got Rhode Island, and then you got South Carolina, you got South Dakota, you got Tennessee, you got Texas, you got... I don't know what that says. Uh, you got Virginia, you got Vermont, you got Washington, you got Wisconsin, which I have right now. Uh, West Virginia, which is no front license plate, and then you got Wyoming. And then you could change these for $10,000. You can also change the uh, plate tag. You can also uh, change the plate tag. So it says customize your plate tag. It's limited to alpha alphanumeric characters a b c one two three and a not and a dash slash hyphen do not include anything inappropriate or your plate may be reset with no notice your plate will be filtered before you can confirm your choice already so you can also change that for ten thousand dollars which is pretty expensive but this is the dmv of course I didn't know they added Teslas to these prop cars. Look at this. Like, also, you guys could see uh, on the license plate, they did change the test text since you could customize it. Alrighty. Oh, shoot. Alright. This is going to be a long video. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, but, <laughs> um, so let me show you guys some quirky updates so we come here you guys already seen the dirt uh so i already showed you those red things you also get uh nope ah thank you car was driving away from me should i put it in park Alrighty. You could see that drainer system right there, and then if we hop back in our car, this, this zebra is also a two seater just for practicality overview thing on Bobby. You got this thing too, uh, and you also got these things, which is pretty cool. And it looks like the water color. Uh, if you stand back for a second, it looks like it's very light. It's pretty cool. And now you got a house update. And you might be thinking, what house update? Is it like new customizable houses? Nah. Uh, they added a new house location. I already told you guys about those, uh, those uh, power lines, which is pretty cool. I wish that I like frinkly weather, like rain, uh, snow, they already had snow. Uh, no, now though, uh, rain will be nice, uh, and also windshield wipers will be nice in the rain. Uh, but everyone has been taking these spots. Uh, we have to turn left here. Remember this just being a road. Someone is in a hurry, jeez. All right, so like basically all the houses are taken. Let's get to all the big houses are taken. Like every single house is taken. You got all of these, you got so many other stuff. You just have to search around for a house, which does not seem right. So living in a town. I actually want to see which wins, lake houses or, or these houses, because I frankly do not know. Um, oh, let's try to find this is here like basically all of them are taken so i can't show you guys the new thing i'm pretty sure it's only a link to here but man these people why do they want these houses so much i guess because they have like the tool thing but Gee. wait so i'm gonna go see if i claim another house Oh, uh, hmm. This is just me searching, guys. I uh, got my car a little dirty. That's okay. So you still got the toolkit in these houses. So I'm thinking, well, oh, they all got clean too. What? Dude, 
my house already got claimed. Why my house? Dude, my house. I need this one even got claimed, what? How many people are house hungry? All right, well we got this house. I think we like every house has it, has the toolkit. So if we enter our house here, everyone wants a house there. You got, you know, you got a paint bucket, grab your sponge. Oh, oh what do you even do with a sponge? Do you just uh, clean your car with it? I do not know. <laughs> but you got tool kit right over here. You got tool stuff. So if you're into that, that's pretty good. I got my car a little dirty here. Alrighty, well, I think that is it for this update. It has been a very long video, but hope you guys did enjoy this. Guys, then make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss out on a brand new video. See you guys later. Peace out.